Hey students, so in this video I'm going to talk you through the dimensions and the shapes, the basic shapes that we have in the various dimensions. So the first dimension is, for example, a point or a line. Okay, so we can measure the length of the line. So the first dimension gives us the length of something and how long something is. First dimension. The second dimension gives us one more thing. So we again have the length of something, but we also have the height, length and height. Okay, so we can say something is long and something is high. For example, let's look at one example and this example is a square. So each side of the square has, for example, two centimeters and that would make the whole thing a square. Another one is then the triangle, which has three sides and they can be of the same length or diff different length. Um, another one that we might also have here is the circle. Not perfectly round in this drawing, but I know, think you know what I mean. Okay, so for all of these um, shapes in the second dimension, we can say that they have area. And the area is everything that is in here and we can calculate it with the length and the height. Okay, we also, what we can also calculate is this here. This means um, how much it is takes around it. This is called the perimeter of something. It has a different name for the circle. So getting around the circle gives us the circumference. We can also look at two more things here in the circle and this is first of all from one point here to the point here which gives us the diameter of the circle and last but not least we could also just go from here to here which gives us the radius of a circle. So the circle is a very special shape in the two in the second dimension, which gives us the circumference, the diameter, and the radius, plus, of course, the area of a circle. Now, let's quickly take a look at the third dimension as well. In the third dimension, we again have length, we have the height of a shape, and we also, this is new, have the width. So we can look at how long something is, how high something is and how wide something is. So three dimensions. For example, with the base shape like this, we could have a cube, not perfectly shaped here, but I think you know what I mean again. Okay, so um, another thing would be the 3D shape of a circle, which we could call a sphere and so on and so on. We've got a pyramid and we've got various other ones. Naming one more thing which might be important for your subject field and this is the cylinder. Okay, so having the three dimensions there's one more thing to add and this is the adjectives. We've talked about nouns here all the time. For example, triangle is a noun. We also have the adjective, which is then triangular. And note that the stress pattern changes because here the ang is stressed, whereas here the tri is stressed. A triangle, and we say triangular, okay? A similar thing happens here with a cylinder. So we have cylindrical. And here for cylinder and cylindrical, you also hear it, hopefully when I say it, that the stress pattern changes. So be aware when you use the adjective forms that there might be a change 
in the stress pattern, which means which syllable has the stress. That's it for the three dimensions. Let's look at them in the practice session.